Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this angular part, we will talk about switch case. First of all, I will tell you why we have to use switch case. After that, we will make a small example of switch case and we will apply the default case with it. And uh, at the last, we will uh, discuss some important interview questions also. So first question is why we have to use switch case. See, when we have only two, three or four condition, that time we can use else if statements. But whenever we have uh, more conditions, let's say uh, 10 condition, 20 condition and all, that time we have to use switch case because they are easy to use and they are uh, really look like simple code. We can easily understand that what thing is actually happen with that code. If we are using else if, else if, else if multiple time, our code will be really not good and it will be really like messy code, right? That's why we have to use switch case. So let's make a small example first of all. So let's say I have a color property and it have a red color by default. Red, fine. So I just want to make a block of code that will be execute whenever we will get a red color, right? So maybe sometime we have a green color, maybe we have a blue color. So we have to handle all these conditions, right? So first of all, I am taking a div here and here. Let's use here ng switch, ng switch. Don't forget to use it in the camel case. Sometime we just um, uh, uh, use the camel case wrongly and we are just thinking that spelling is everything is fine, but why our code is actually not running. So use this camel case properly. All right, after that, uh, on which property we want to use this ng uh, switch. Obviously we want to use on the color. So let's define here color property with the single equal to after that uh, inside it let's take a h1 tag and here you can just write here uh, red color right and this h1 tag will be visible only whenever our color value is red right so what we can do here so just simply go with there use a ng star ng switch case and just put a value here. So let's say red and keep in mind, don't use red color directly with it. It will look like that. This is a property or this is a variable. So just simply, simply use here a uh, single quotes around it. So it will really look like, like that. That is a string, right? So now is it working? Yes, this is working. So can we apply a red color with it also? Because it will look like nice if we just add here a, uh, red color with it. So let me add here color red. Now this is look like more well, more fine. So now let's say we have uh, this property uh, green. But now this case is actually not match. That's why this is not visible here. So what we can do here, we can make a one more switch case for the red color or uh, for the green color. And we can change the text also. and we have to change the color also. Otherwise it will look in a, a red color. And with the same way, we can just make uh, some other colors. Let's say with the blue, with the orange, or some other colors also, if you want to use like uh, violet, sky blue and all. So now I'm putting here blue color and you will find that this is working fine with the, uh, okay. I have to change the text I think, right? So let me just choose here blue and blue color, uh, orange and apply the orange color also. It's not mandatory, but I am using it so that we can just make it more uh, look and feel good. So now this is a blue color because this condition is matching from here. So let me apply here a green and this is also working fine, right? So let's say someone is just put here uh, some wrong color. Let's say he just put here uh, yellow, which is not present in all these conditions. So how we can handle this? So we have nothing to show here. So that condition. So if you have, let's say 20 colors, you can apply all these colors that you know, right? But uh, still, if there is some different colors, color is coming for that, we can apply a default case. So we don't need to match anything here. Just simply use here switch default. And uh, we don't need to just 
make apply this color here also just simply put here unknown color and you will find that we got here unknown color right and if you just add here some other color let's say red or something they will work fine and if you again you get the unwanted color even might be just some spelling mistake let's say red or something that time we will just get the unknown color here with that way we can use a switch case and default case also so let's talk about the interview question first first interview question is where you can use switch case where you can else if statement so if you have only two or three or four conditions maximum four condition that time you can use else if otherwise you must have to use switch case other because they are really simple code here you can see that this is really simple and if you are just using l else if else if else if this code will be really messy right so the second thing is uh, they will just ask that if match if our case is not matched with our uh, uh, switch case statement so what we can do with them how we can uh, show uh, any a default value for that you can answer them that we can use here a ng switch and ng switch will show the diff uh, with the default value if there is an uh, above values are not not matched with it and again they can ask that just uh, just give me a simple example for ng switch so you can give the example for colors for weekdays name and months name and all right so thank you for watching this video. If you still have any query, you can ask me in the comment box. Bye bye. Take care.